What's up, everybody? I'm Scott. I'm Jason. And welcome to another episode of Liquid Carnage. Good to see you, buddy. You too, my friend. God, it's been a week. The year is the year is starting to wrap up so fast now. It's not even funny. Well, yeah. There's like I said. There's been we've been talking about top stories in sports entertainment. Changes in the air for the new year. Yeah. And there's a big change coming. What's that, buddy? Uh, you will be leaving us uh, up here in northern Arizona and heading down to where you rightfully belong in the Valley of the Sun. Yes, tomorrow, um, December 22nd, I will be um, leaving the hospital after almost eight years mm -hmm. with them. Um, I've taken a position uh, that allow me to have a little bit more freedom to uh, work remotely when I need to, if I need to take care of things with my mom or if I need to take care of things. Um, it's a position that allow me to be more of a remote work. So that's good. I'm, uh, I'm excited. Uh, I'm sad, uh, you know, leaving the area, uh, le leaving um, the hospital that's been so good to me for eight years. It's it's gonna it's a tough. It's it's tough. Well, it's gonna be an adjustment on the show too. We we have to adjust the way we do things, and record things. So there's yeah. there's gonna be a bit of a transitional bump. So you yeah. have to bear with us. But we we plan on having the same kind of content uh, every week. We're just gonna get more creative with how we get it to you. Yeah, I mean, we're not gonna lose out on the content. We're definitely gonna be talking together. Um, we'll be definitely continuing on with that. Liquid Carnage will be in 2018. That's why these uh, last few episodes are so important because it's giving us a time capsule into 2017 and, and, so that we can start tracking the stuff in 2018. And we spent some more time together face-to-face -face recording uh, because we won't have as many opportunities in 2018. So uh, we will have plenty of opportunities to do that though between you being up here and me, me being down there. But yeah. Those weeks we can't make that happen. Uh, we'll have to do that over the interweb. If we'll you have know. to do it over the interweb, which has actually sounded pretty good the it first has. few we, times we've done it. We, Scott, you've got a good thing going yeah, there. We, That's we, good. We've got a couple episodes already under the belt you might have been able to figure out have been done over the web, but we're going to get better. We're yeah. going to streamline things. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be a um, good time. Last week, we talked about the sports stories. Yes. Uh, this year we're, or this week, we're going to talk about the big like social and entertainment news stories of 2017 yeah uh, some of them are good some of them are quirky sad. some of them are sad uh, but you know we always try to joke have a good time but I think it's important to maybe reflect a little bit on the people uh, we've, we've lost, lost we've in lost, 2017 we have lost some serious star power uh, heaven is a little bit brighter uh, after this year which is our loss we, we lost some true artists out there some two uh, very famous people that we've lost this yeah. year who, um, you know, and, and that's the thing, I don't know if you've noticed, but as you get older, the people that start to go have more of an impact on your life because you've lived with them longer. Oh, absolutely. Like when I lost, uh, when we lost Robin Williams, mm -hmm. um, I, I was devastated. Like I, I couldn't believe that that was going to happen, that that happened. Oh, it yeah. was awful. It yeah. was absolutely terrible. This year alone, you know, last year we lost Bowie. Which was huge. Yep, we lost David the, the, Bowie. This year it was it was it happened so fast. We lost Chris Cornell of of Soundgarden. Oh wow! And Audio Slave. What a what a, a soulful singer, man. That guy was. I could listen to him for hours, and he just he was amazing. Losing him and then turning around and losing Chester Bennington of Lincoln Park. You talk about uh, an artist that was very near and dear to me. Lincoln Park got famous when I was in college, and so I was in the middle of the industrial rap rage revolution. And uh, his songs were so impactful to me on so many different levels because I could really relate at that age. Yeah. And, and watching him evolve and grow as I've evolved and grown uh, was really a treat. And uh, he is really missed, uh, from, from me at least. And then oh. to really, really tie it all together, it hurt the most. And I think kicked all of us in the collective junk uh, it was when Tom Petty passed away. Tom Petty passed away, yeah. Uh, that guy epitomized rock and roll. And so many of us wanted to see him one time live before we knew this would happen. Well, and it also proved that you don't have to be good looking to be famous. No, but God, I mean, man, that guy could write a song and that guy could play a guitar. Yeah. And he, I, I, I challenge one person to show me that they don't have Tom Petty in one way, shape, or form on their playlist. Some song. Some song. I just remember from Silence of the Lambs, man. It is an American go. your favorite Tom Petty song. Um, oh, I, I think it's gotta be... I love free falling. Yeah, I love free one. falling. That is such a good song. That's that's one of his best. Uh, don't come around here no more. I remember that was one of the very first videos I ever saw where it's like an Alice in Wonderland type. And yeah. I just thought that was the coolest thing. That one's always stuck in my head. But I, I always will 
uh, half his music in my playlist. Cause it was Last great. Dance with Mary Jane was a good one, too. One of his good ones, yeah. Yeah, that was a good uh, song, too. What was that one? It was the music video. We had, like, had Johnny Depp in it. Eddie waited till he finished high school. Uh, he moved to California and got a tattoo. Yeah. He met a girl with that tattoo, too. The sky was the limit. Um, um, great, he, white he the great White yeah, Open. Great yeah, White Open. Great White Open. Yeah. Yeah. What a... Yeah. yeah. God, good songs. To be missed. A lot, a lot of musical celebrities. And those are just three of the biggest ones, at least to me. Yeah. Uh, we lost a lot of Hollywood actors, too. Uh, Bill Paxton. One of the greatest character leads you'll uh, ever meet. My favorite movie of him was when he was Chet in Weird Science. Yeah. Virgil Earp in Tombstone. One of my oh. all-time favorites. Yeah, he, that was a good movie. He was great in um, Big Love. Apollo 13. Yeah. He popped up in, in Aliens. Aliens! Oh, oh, God, Aliens, you don't dude. You don't, yes. re you don't realize oh, my God, what how a many great movies movie. he's yeah. in. You don't realize how many movies he's in until like, oh yeah, Bill Paxton was in that. And he crushes it. Aliens is the best. Oh, I don't man. know if you're keeping score, but we just got our asses kicked. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. And it, it's always sad to see these guys go, but I guess if there is a plus to them leaving this world, we are left with their music, their movies, their art, if you will. Uh, well, we lost Carrie Fisher. Gosh, man, and that's huge because Star Wars: The Last Jedi just came out. She had a major role in that. Yeah, they and they were able to do it though. They she, were able. She, to she passed finish, after they finished. After they finished, role. okay. Uh, but that does change how Episode Nine is going to come out in a couple years. So they had to go back and rewrite a couple things. So we'll be interested to see how that. Yeah, that movie's doing massively right now, as you would expect it to do. Yeah, that's 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 going to be a hard shoes to fill because. Oh, yeah. You know, we lost um, Princess Leia. We lost Princess Leia. We lost Mary Tyler Moore. Now you're too young. No, no, I I'm kind of too young I, I too. I grew up with Dick Van. But Dyke. Mary Tyler Moore was Dick Van Dyke's show, and then she had her own show, Mary Tyler Moore. She yeah. was on, um, and that was a great show for its time. It was kind of like progressive, uh, progressive because you had a woman who was powerful in that industry, uh, breaking ceilings, and um, you know, so losing someone like her. Uh, definitely, uh, it definitely changes uh, some changes of, everything some of we my, do. My memories of being a child in the summertime when my grandparents were watching us was watching reruns of the Dick Van Dyke Show at my grandma's house. No, she always had them on because of uh, there was Rose Marie and the other guy that was on there. With yeah. Her. Oh yeah. yeah, she'll be missed. Harry Dean Stanton oh, died this year. Okay, I'm getting depressed. We got to yeah, stop. stop, let's, stop, let's, stop. let's stop thinking about it. A moment of dead we'll air let, right we'll let the uh, we'll let the uh, Academy Awards do a better mem in memoriam for the. Uh, Speaking of Academy Awards, one of the biggest entertainment you know flops, flubs of the year. Yeah, announcing the wrong Best Picture winner. I'm it's, sorry, La La Land. It's not you. It's number one on the list. It's easily the biggest flub in award show history. Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway stood on the stage and announced the wrong best picture. You know, they were probably too busy fantasizing about the way they fucked back in the 70s to realize what was going on before it was too late. Still, though, I mean, I'd never, I had never seen something like that happen, ever. No. And the way that, that it got handled... I mean, you made the I got to admit, La, bad situation. La La Land, they, I give them a lot of credit. I mean, they literally stopped. No, we did not win. Uh, Moonlight won. Come up, Moonlight, Moonlight. And people were just in shock. I heard that those two people from Price Waterhouse got canned, or they, at least they can't do the show anymore because of the flub. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. What else happened in 2017? Um, a couple bad things. Um, the tragic and senseless act that shook the entertainment world uh, was Ariana Grande's concert outside of Manchester. It was bad. Where there was a massive uh, a terrorist attack. Mass shooting. We had something similar happen here in October at the Harvest Fest up in Las Vegas. That so was number three. That was very close to home. That actually affected me uh, with my career uh, because we were on the phones that day. We were trying to work blood drives and trying to make sure patient transports were going through. Uh, up to up to and from Vegas. To help you know, out. you go to a concert or you go to a show. The last thing that you think is going to happen is that. Yeah, you don't ever want that. You, to you happen, don't period. think it's going to happen. So you know, I, I think about these stories. And if you go up to Las Vegas, if anyone's listening is not live in the area, go up to Las Vegas near the Art District. They have built a they built a shrine to the fifty eight lost souls in Las Vegas. That where they planted a tree for each person mm -hmm. in a park, and they've made a park. It's a beautiful that's cool um, park, and um, and and you see the pictures of these young kids, 16, 17 years old, on these 
little plaques that are on each tree. It's 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 horrific. It's it's horrible. Nobody ever deserves to, to lose their life that way, yeah. especially when you, you it's something that's supposed to be a fun event. You're not supposed that's not how you're supposed to go out. I have a feeling that this one might top our top ten news stories of all of 2017. Yeah, we'll probably we'll discuss which is what we're going to do next year because we wanted to give plenty of time for any more calamities or bad yeah. things to happen. Speaking of, there's one more calamity we did, we did forget to discuss, or maybe it'll come up later on. But uh, an icon did pass away this year. Hugh Hefner. We I know we've already talked about death, but that would just pop. <laughs> Some might argue head. he might have died like five years ago, but yeah. Well, officially, <laughs> they turned Playboy into a friggin' magazine that's <laughs> got like no nakedness. Yeah. So well, how bad still, could it be? You know. But for what he did for the women's revolution and just the art art, art revolution, uh, that's a man who also just it was just a, a trailblazer. Well, okay, so the next couple stories, I don't know if they're that big a deal, but um, a couple famous couples had twins in 2017. Oh, let me guess, and I don't care. Um, but I do remember hearing that Beyonce <laughs> yep. and Jay-Z. Beyonce and Jay-Z did. And uh, who's the other one? Uh, George Clooney That's and right. uh, his wife, who's the attorney lady. Does Clooney still act in anything good? Uh, no, I think Clooney gets more into directing and, and producing and stuff now. I don't think he really acts... Um, like he did that um, Suburbicon movie. Oh, that's right. That was his movie. I heard it didn't do very well. No, I remember seeing. I remember I wanted to see it. it just it was gone before I had a chance to. Yeah, I, I didn't hear it was that great. Oh, I'll catch it on DVD. Yeah, so I'll catch it on DVD. Um, uh, but I think also 2017 was the year that the uh, Prince William announced that he was going to have a third child. Good for him. Oh, and his brother got engaged too to that uh, that American girl. Yeah, so we have, I mean, that's not really us, but that's like big news stories for that's 2000. Good for them, man. We'll probably touch on that a little bit next week too because when the royal family gets engaged, eh, that's a big deal. I guess. Is she a lizard person like the queen? No. So this woman, okay, so she's an American, right? Meghan yeah. Markle. Mm -hmm. She's an American, and I guess she's older than... Harry is. Yes, sir. I know. I did, she's I did like she's 35, 36 she, or she, something like that. She is that. my age. Yeah. She's older than... It's another good one off the table. I got to get back at it. I, what is she famous for? She's I don't an even, actress. Oh, she oh, is? What is she in? I don't even I don't know. know. It doesn't matter anymore. Hey, everything matters, man. 2017 is going by so quick. All right. It's gone, buddy. But this is this is gone. It's it's Christmas is almost here, which means New Year's is almost here, which means the Gerber is almost here. And your time in Phoenix is almost here. True. A lot all of, the, it is happening all of that so is fast. True. All I have of that to go is and true. cry for a half hour now because life as I know it has now changed. All of that is true. Uh, story number five. Mm -hmm. um, I guess all we can really call it is hashtag me too. This oh, is the year Harvey of Weinstein. The Harvey Weinstein. Um, well, it, it starts with Harvey Weinstein, but this is stretching over politics. It's stretching over um, acting. It's stretching over corporations. Um, you know, uh, Uber had major issues with this. Google has had major issues with this. So this is a storyline of um, in, in entertainment because of the massive amounts of people in the entertainment industry that have been affected by this. But in reality, it's affecting everything. But Harvey Weinstein, Kevin Spacey. Um, just to name a few. Just the name of a couple of guys. I mean. Uh, Jeremy uh, Piven. Jeremy Piven. Uh, was one. Uh, ben Affleck. Uh, ben Affleck was accused. He of, was accused of knowing what Harvey Weinstein was doing. I don't know if he was actually accused of of doing anything to women. I mean, th that whole topic could be one episode in and of itself. Oh, absolutely. Uh, um, Brett Ratner is another big. He's a big directing name. Uh, Gail Gadot refused to do the second uh, Wonder Woman if he was involved still because of because, sexual because harassment. Of what his, his the allegations about him of were. The saddest part about that too is. Like I think of Kevin Spacey, who has basically lost his entire career. Yeah, his career is over. Let me ask you a question on that. I mean, his allegations came out later on that he did stuff as as, as late as last year. Yeah, uh, but the st initial stuff that came out was stuff that was done thirty years ago. <laughs> I mean, I'm not condoning what happened, but just as a, as a general question, it doesn't make it right. But if you did something thirty years ago. Isn't there a statute of limitations on that, or is it? Well, that, yeah. I mean, I don't think anyone is convicting him in a criminal sense. Well, no. I don't think anyone's convicting him in a civil sense. Mm -hmm. um, now, I do think that he could be in trouble because one of the accused was underage at the time. No, one of the accused uh, rapists was recent. 
yeah. which is not in the statute of limitations. So I think that's where there he could be Cause in he, trouble. He was fired from game, uh, House of Cards on Netflix for those. Oh, Kevin Spacey. No, I'm talking about Harvey Weinstein. Oh, yeah. Okay. Kevin Spacey, his biggest problem was is that he... I've been talking about Kevin Spacey. I didn't he did it to an underage kid. That was the problem. Back in the 80s, yeah. Yeah. But still, he did it to an yeah. underage kid, which which I don't understand. This is what I don't understand about this whole situation is you can get anyone you want. Mm -hmm. You don't need to yeah, but force yourself on someone. You can get anyone you want. 30 years ago, Kevin Spacey wasn't who he is today. 20 years ago, he was just barely who he is today. Yeah, so it took him a while. So and I'm not again. That doesn't make what he did right or wrong. Um, I just, I'm just curious as if as to as something happened 30 years ago. Okay, and why why the guy chose to wait 30 years to come out and, and say this? Because that that's what gets me. If if I'm being attacked for something I did back in my 20s, when I'm in my 50s or 60s, I am truly sorry for what I did, but. I was a lifetime ago and I was a different person and I'm sorry and you should have said something sooner and I should have known better but I didn't. Yeah, this one I, I have a tough time yeah, with and, because... And I, and I struggle with that too. I think because I just know that, that these victims, you know, somet sometimes you just are so shocked that it's happening. Yeah, you don't realize. You don't realize it. And, and I'm not then when it. someone, like when Harvey Weinstein, all these people started coming out against Harvey Weinstein, maybe he just said, you know what, I don't have to be afraid anymore. I don't yeah. have to be scared. I don't have to be um, worried about what, what the consequences are. I need to tell my story. And make no mistake, I don't condone this one way or the other. I, I really... Uh, do not agree with any of it, you know. And I'm glad people are coming out against it. It's just, it's to me, it's shocking. It's not, and it shouldn't be shocking that that people are coming after waiting so long. But then there's others that uh, that uh, that make me very curious. Like Danny Masterson was fired off the the ranch on Netflix because he was accused of rape 15 years ago. That was investigated by the police, and he was cleared of. But now it's come back up for whatever reason, and they fired him for it. And, and, and I think these shows don't want to have the negative publicity. I mean, nowadays too, like Netflix, they invest a lot of money mm -hmm. into these shows. They can't afford the negative publicity of the shows. I think for myself, the hardest part is more of, um, I think that the, I'm having a tougher time finding a line between someone who takes a picture with someone, grabs their butt mm -hmm. versus someone who rapes oh, someone. There is there is a distinction a between huge, well, the two. That's a huge distinction. Yeah, there's a huge you know a, 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 a gentle grab versus you know. Or rape. if I tell someone, "Hey, nice cans," mm -hmm. versus grabbing your cans. Exactly. There is a difference. Calling them cans could probably could be considered yeah, probably as, probably, but yeah. I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I don't condone any of it. I don't agree with any of it. Have you ever been sexually harassed by a woman? Oh, um, I don't know. I, if I did, I probably enjoyed it. So I don't know if you can call it that. Like, have you ever had a woman who made a, an advance to you that you said, I am not interested, and they use that power like they were over your job or anything? Oh, uh, no. No, I've never had no, that happen either. Uh, no. And it's would, different I, for I, guys, I think. I mean, if, it is. But, I mean but, you know what I mean? Here's, but, the, here's the difference. So if a man makes a move on a woman... That's like bad, right? Bad sexual harassment. If I mean, if a boss makes a move on a, an underling who's a woman, bad. If a woman boss makes a move on a man underling, that's like water cooler talk, man. That's disclosure. That's like, dude. That's like, I'm so pumped. That's that Demi Moore movie, Disclosure, Michael. Crichton. Which I couldn't understand that. Like, I know that there's probably true stories of that, but you have a really hot boss chick. Who wants to bang you? <laughs> That's the problem. I mean, <laughs> why aren't you okay with this? What is the problem, Michael Douglas? Why, why do you love your family so much, Michael Douglas? Why are you rejecting to me? That's more? right. He was married. He was. That's, That's right. I That's forgot. <laughs> Had he not been married, you're right. It's a moot point. It is a moot. It's, a moot. It's, you, it is moot. It's moot. You're it's moot. You're high fiving your boys. Guess what I just did? Moot but point. No, he was married. So from a moral standpoint, he did the right. I thing. got you. What's next? And he got that, obviously. He got that taken care of. That was a big part of 2017, I got to admit. That was, Especially the last half of 2017. That was, yeah. And who knows what else is going to come up about that. I mean, you know, what, who, what else is going to be um, coming out in the next, you know, few months, few years mm -hmm. about that. I mean, when we get into news stories, I mean, we're losing politicians based on this crap. Yeah. So. It, 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 and we can't lose the biggest politician of them all, even with... Yeah, I'm caught on tape. True, so true. It blows my mind true. that it blurs the reality of what's right, what's wrong. Okay, story number six. Uh -huh. Our boy, 
the party at Meister, Prince Harry decided to get engaged. Did we just talk about that? No. Well, we did a little bit, but that was the next story on the list. See, you're not structured. That's the problem. See, you got a little taste of this unstructured. You started talking. Just talk. There's no structure. So then sorry. we have a problem when we get to it. Now we're out of structure. I'm sorry that we were discussing this story two stories ago, but let's discuss the story. No, again. we don't have to no, now. You've going. lost it. You've lost the story. You don't get to talk about it now anymore. I apologize. You are out of the story. And now um, uh, the next story is going to have to be story number eight, but we'll call it story number seven. Mm -hmm. uh, ben um, Affleck and Jennifer Gardner filed for divorce. Are we really going to discuss this? No, we don't have to discuss it. Okay. It's a, it's an entertainment story it of is. 2017. But they've been breaking up for the last two years, though. I know, but they stuck together. They she's, tried to make it work. She's still hot, though. You, Jennifer, would, you, would you go out with Jennifer Jen, Gardner? Jennifer Gardner, if you're listening, hey, you're a very nice lady. I'm single. You're single. Um, let's go have some coffee. You would. Find us at Liquid Carnage. Yeah. There you go. Jennifer Garner. I'm going to hashtag Jennifer Garner and let's see what happens. Ooh. Here's a big story. Selena Gomez revealed that she was having a kidney transplant. Who? Selena Gomez. Uh, Do you know who she is? I don't. She dated Justin Bieber. She, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and the, that being said, I, I hope her kidney transplant went well, but what's the next story? Um, Bill Cosby had a hung jury for his... <laughs> Child molestation. <laughs> Hearing the word hung jury always makes me laugh. Um, well, I guess it doesn't change the fact that he still loved Putin and Putin dicks and his, his dicks and uh, other women. So, uh, One of the biggest shows of the year was Game of Thrones. Still never seen an episode. Oh, God, that's right. I still uh, but they're not coming out with the final season for two more years. It'll be... We'll we'll do this show again next year with top entertainment stories, and you'll say still no Game of Thrones, and I'll say still haven't watched it because it comes out this summer. I know, and I'll finally get caught up in the in the winter and spring of 2019. You heard it right here on Liquid Carnage. Oh, I love it. I'm a year away from even starting the show. I'm Dude, not going to wait with you people. I know, I know. You're doing good, buddy. You're you're doing really good. Uh, you know, most of these other stories are all just people breaking up and shit. Who was who was that kid? Chris Pratt and Anna Faris broke up this year. Anna, you're pretty hot too. If you want to hit me up at Liquid Carnage. Now Bradley I'll, Cooper. I don't care about him. Um, Anna, and Anna, if you're listening, wow, Liquid Carnage. You have a podcast. I, we have something in common. We both have podcasts. I'm sorry. What were you saying? I was busy trying to talk to Anna. No, you talk to Anna. Go ahead, man. I love you and Mom. I loved you in the House Bunny. I think you're very funny. Hit me up at Liquid Carnage. Wow. Good, good, good one. Yeah, I'm looking through most of these. These are mostly just um, uh, Don Rickles died. Oh, it's a shame. <laughs> wow, some of these stories are people I don't even know. Yeah. I, I don't even know these people. I do want to take a second to talk about something that's, that's just recently hit. It's, it's gone viral on the internet. Okay. And it's that kid with that bully, anti-bullying video. What was the name in a Tennessee? Oh, Eric? um... Cason Brown? Case, I, I don't know. What's that kid's name? Kid's name, but every time I open up Facebook or So tell me, tell me about the story because I don't know what it is. The kid's, he's, a, he's a, a small kid. He's, you know, eight, nine years old, and uh, he got bullied in school, and he, his mom picked him up, and he was crying one day, and he asked her to shoot a video, and the kid just opened up about what they're doing to him and why it's, he, he knows he's different, but that's not a reason to bully him. And it breaks your heart to see this video. It really does because uh, it's it's such a very brave, sweet, genuine thing what he says. Okay. And you, the world's just rallying around him for all those reasons. All right. So it's a good thing. It's then. a good thing. It, it's something that uh, it makes you want to go out and just and, and, and hug the kid because nobody deserves to be treated the way he was treated. You know what I think? The, I'm finding the very scary part of this mm -hmm. is we're looking through these these events, these social events. Um, a lot of this shit really doesn't matter. Like Beyonce having twins. I know there's people out there that really care about Beyonce I would and her having I would twins. Rather, I would rather spend two hours talking about this kid in the anti-bullying video and what it means and why people think it's okay to bully. And, and that's it. If you look from the top of the United States, you look at what, and again, and I know I shouldn't do this, but you look at what our president does on Twitter and he attacks people. And that's teaching people that it's okay. I think it's funny that his wife... Her big focus is an anti-bullying campaign. Yeah, the irony. Is so I mean, it, irony. It, it, it's almost laughable, and yet I'm totally in favor of Melania Trump doing that. Oh yeah, absolutely. And I have a feeling that it's probably instigated because her son Baron probably takes a lot of abuse. Um, he just looks like he's just not. 
just a traditionally normal kid. He looks yeah. like he's probably very smart. He probably looks like he's very capable, yeah. but he probably gets bullied a little bit. Well, you know, when your dad's the leader of the free world, and before that he's one of the most powerful business tycoons in the world, one way or the other, you don't have a normal childhood that way. And you're right. I mean, when you look at, like, to me, that's a huge story. Um, bullying uh, in in the sense of how many people go through it and don't say anything about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they don't say anything about it, but they've been bullied as a kid. Yeah. And the effects of bullying, you know, for those who do it, um, they don't realize what effect they have. They yeah. don't realize. And, it, and, it's, and it's huge. And like I realize, I catch myself if I'm if I'm poking fun at somebody, I have to dial back sometimes because it might be considered bullying. But we all do it, and it's not that it's not me trying to justify it. It's it's something that I have to watch. I watch myself do. I don't ever mean to if I go too far with my my jokes or my comments on you. Uh, but it you know seeing a video like that kid. I have you haven't seen the video video. I, I urge you to go out and, and find okay, it. Okay, I'm gonna go and, find and, it then and just watch it because it really shows the kind of effect that it can have on somebody, and it's not cool, man. Well. You know, I mean, I think about those kids in Columbine. Yeah. I mean, now I'm not condoning what they did, mm -hmm. but one of the biggest things is they were going to punish all the kids that were mean to them. Mm -hmm. God, you play a part. For those of you that don't know, Columbine was one of the first mass shootings of our generation back in 1999. And it was done by kids, yeah, Col 16, 17 year old kids. In Colorado. Yeah, yeah, white kids who had been bullied and who had just said I'm done now I don't condone what they did Absolutely. I mean they murdered people and but I also say bullies you play a part so when bad things happen to bullies I, I don't feel bad for them yeah, I, don't, I don't I don't feel bad for I, you at all I'm a firm believer in karma I really am I, I pay back some of my own bad karma yeah uh, what, over my lifetime and I just I don't wish that on anybody. No. I, I was the fat kid growing up, and I understand that goes. And, and kids are mean by nature. It's just it's how they figure each other out. And just don't do it. What's yeah. Next? Let's talk about something happier. Well, that's just it. I mean, th this is the problem. Everything with entertainment it sucks. is this kind of stupid shit. Like, it sucks. Beyonce had twins. Whoop the friggin' do. The Ken all the Jenners are pregnant. Whoop the friggin' do. Uh, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West are having a don't you, um, don't you think having that, a child yeah. through surrogacy. Whoop the friggin' do. Like, why do we care about that shit? Part of the problem, though, is they're teaching us to be to care about this bullshit. It's stupid. It is dumb. And I think maybe that's the other problem is that there's so much value being placed in that these is. areas that it doesn't it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't no. mean anything at all. Well, you look at what, you know, they get pushed so hard through social media and everything else. It affects what kids buy, how kids act, how they dress. And, and that's a whole other story for just, you know, I, I see teenagers walking around that, you know, I, most women who could pull it off in their 20s or 30s don't do that because it's just too risque or too yeah. ugly. You know, it's a, no, I'm with you. It, and it's, it's one of those things that I guess I just... I guess we, we should probably end our, our white old man ranch right now about what the kids these days are wearing yeah what the kids these days are wearing and what they should be wearing and, and i'm pretty sure we have a podcast we've already talked about this well already. we have you know i think the i think the hard part for me is that people know exactly what beyonce's children's name are you know they know that they probably know what kendall jenner's wearing or what yet, she does yet they but yeah don't they don't know, know who long division yeah they or they don't know who the representative is in politics mm -hmm. or they don't know They're state senators yeah they don't know whether or not what the capital of their their city is mm -hmm. or their state is you know when you look at it from that perspective you think to yourself you know we have gotten off track yeah, of what's important absolutely so now i'm feeling like man i'm really pissed that we brought up the top 10 entertainment stories yeah. because frankly I can tell the tone in your voice. They're, 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 it's stupid. Well, let's wrap this up with something very happy. Okay. Something very happy. Let's talk about it. Uh, we want to hear your happy entertainment thoughts on our Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, all at Liquid Carnage. Uh, December 29th, one week, one week from tomorrow night, the Hans Gruber Jingle Bars Memorial Pub Crawl. It's going to be awesome. It's, it's going to be gonna epic. Be fun. It's going to be gonna fun. Go. Brian, from a few weeks ago, our, our Brotato Chip Brian is going to tag along. He's going to host this for us. We're going to start off at the, at the House of Hops. We're going to go down to Black Ridge Brewery. We're going to come over to the wine bar, have a drink. We're going to go down to Sporty's, and we're going to finish at the Rickety Cricket Brewing. And when we finish at the Rickety Cricket, if you manage to make it through all five with us, we're going to go on the air. We're going to record a podcast. 
You could be on the show with us. You could talk about whatever you want to talk about. Now, I, I think it's important at this point to warn our audience and listeners that we have had problems in the past with doing drunken uh, drunken podcasts. There's that, no we with this. Yeah, you've been drunk before. Don't even start. Well, I've hit it better. You have hit it better. I'll give you that. Yeah. You have hit it better. But the point is... Um, We've done drunk before. Yeah. Oh, so that... We've done drunk before. That being said, it's also now Jason's going away party uh, with his big Phoenix debut only a few days after that. So let's send Jason off uh, out of Kingman with Liquid Current style and grace. I like that. And blow this motherfucker off the roof. I like that. I like that. Uh, you know, I know we're going to release this one, and um, I'm sorry I got pissed off. There have been a lot of great entertainment stories this year. There have been a lot of great movies that have come out. Yeah. Justice League, we could talk about Star Wars. Yeah. We could talk about, um, you know, a bunch of different things that came out on social media. You know, whether it's uh, new technologies, the iPhone X, mm -hmm. uh, the Xbox Pi. I mean, they, they had all kinds of new technologies came out. Um, hopefully, what's, you, what's an Xbox Pi? I just bought an Xbox One. Okay, you got the Xbox One. I just, I just bought the Xbox One, so there's something already better out. No, I think there's one that's like really, really much better. It's like Xbox One S or X oh. or something like that. We're I like don't even iPhones know. now. Yeah, I mean, so there's a lot of good stuff going on there. Um, you know, next week I think it'll be a little bit easier because we're going to talk about the top ten news stories of 2017. Um, I have a feeling that there's going to be some um, really good topics out there that will mean something to us. Um, some good, some bad, but uh, it'll be a little bit more interesting. It'll be our final uh, recap of 2017. Yeah. And then after Hans Gruber, it's all, all 2018, all baby. All bets are off, baby. All bets are off. I like it. And we should actually also talk about our own personal highlights uh, next week, too. Things that that went well for us. Okay. Things that didn't maybe go so well for us. I like it. Uh, but just a little more introspective. Since this is going to be a time capsule of shit we've done. I like that. We could do that. Yeah. I we'll, can, we'll we can definitely do that. We'll, we'll mix, mix it up. up. We'll mix it up. Um, great podcast today, buddy. Hey, I appreciate man, I it. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, and, we'll uh, see everybody next Friday at the Cricket or at the House of Hops starting at 6 p.m. Yep. We're excited. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all at Liquid Carnage, everybody. Uh, I hope you had a wonderful holiday season, or you're having a, ho a wonderful holiday season. Merry oh, hey, yeah, by the way, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh, be because safe. We, we're, we'll be uh, in between Christmas and New Year's yeah. uh, next week. So Absolutely. So um, be safe. We're looking yeah. forward. We hope you all get uh, everything you wish for and then some. But we cannot be in your stockings unless you pay us extra. <laughs> uh, that being said, I'm Scott. I'm Jason. And as always, if you never know quite what to say, just have yourself some liquid carnage. <laughs>